In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this photo manipulation using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Drill here and as you can see, this is the final output. Now, the great thing about this effect is that it looks cool, but it's actually pretty simple. As you can see, there are not many layers. So to create this, first of all, we need to open the background. And for that, I'm going to go to file, open, select the background road photo and open it. Now, before we start working on the effect, I want background to be a little bit longer horizontally. And it's actually pretty easy to do. Select your crop tool from here and make it a little bit bigger like this and then confirm it. After that, we need to fill up this area. For that, select your marquee tool from here and make a square like this. Then press shift delete. So this box will come up. Then go to your options and make sure content aware is active. Hit OK. And it's gone. Now to remove the selection, go to select and deselect. Background is ready. Let's add the swimmer image. And for that, go to file. And this time you will select plus embedded. And here, select the swimmer photo and place it. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Uh, now, if you have old version of Photoshop, you should uh, hold your shift key. Uh, so it stays in uh, proportion. So I'm gonna make it a little bit like this. If you have hard time uh, knowing what's going on, you can reduce the opacity so you can compose it easily. So I think here the swimmer looks okay. And make the opacity back to 100%. Now we need to make selection of the model. Mainly we just need to make proper selection of the face, rest is all right. So for that go and select your uh, quick selection tool from here and then make selection of the model. It doesn't have to be super accurate and if you wanna be precise, you can always use pen tool. But I think this uh, looks all right. Uh, and then we need to apply a layer mask. So make sure your uh, selection is active, then go and click on the layer mask icon and boom, it's done. After that, we need to bring out the area nearby and for that, I'm gonna use brush tool. So select your brush tool and in the opacity, make sure it's 100% and even more important, right click and make sure hardness is 0%. Then also make sure your mask is active. Then you can make your brush a little bit smaller using bracket keys and then oops, my mistake uh, when you paint make sure that the color here uh, is white then you can paint on the model like this so you have a little bit of fade between water and uh, road now it doesn't have to be super perfect as you can see here i'm gonna show you how to fix it now it looks good but it's not that good so to make it better make sure swimmer layer is active then press command j Control j for windows now you have to select the bottom one right and then you can rename it to, let's say, Swimmer Hard Light. So as we named it, go to the blending options and uh, change the blend mode to Hard Light and make sure it's at the bottom. Now again, make sure brush is active and then you click on the layer mask and also make sure color here is white. Now you can paint in the distance like this. So as you can see, this one is a little bit darker and it blends in a lot better with the road. I'm gonna show you how to blend it even more. Now go to opacity of this layer and change it to 65. So as you can see, now it blends in a lot better. Uh, this is for tutorial, so I'm being quick, but you can take your time and uh, like paint it even more carefully. Now what I want to do is make this blue water kind of black so it blends in with the road. And to do that, we need to group both of this layer. So hold your command key and click on both of this layer and then press command G. So it will group both of them. Uh, now create new adjustment layer from here and you have to select hue saturation. Here again, make sure that your clipping mask is on. So whatever changes you make, as you can see, it will only stay on the bottom layer. Okay, now go to your masters here and turn it to the cyan. And here, make the saturation all the way zero. So as you can see, it looks perfect. And then again, go to your blues and then make it all the way to the minus 100. Uh, so in case we missed something. So composition is ready. And now I want to do some changes in background. So for that, activate your layer zero, right click and select convert to smart object. Uh, this is really important. Don't forget it, okay? After that, you can go to filter, blur, and then select Gaussian blur. In the Gaussian Blur, keep it somewhere around like five to six pixels and hit okay. 
Now I don't want it on entire image of course. So for that you can click on this layer mask of the filter. Uh, make sure that the brush tool is active and since we want to remove it make sure color here is black opacity 100 and then you can remove it from the foreground like this so now you can see we have this really nice depth of fill after that i'm gonna do some changes in lighting for that right click on your layer zero and click on blending options in the blending option go and click on the gradient overlay now in the gradient, you can look at the settings. The gradient style I chose is black and white, hit OK. Uh, and it's coming from uh, left to right. So angle is 180, style is linear, and the blend mode is soft light. Uh, opacity, you can keep it like 40 to 50%, however strong you want. So I think 40 looks OK. Then uh, hit OK. Background is ready. Now let's add some artificial lighting. For that, activate your uh, hue saturation layer and then click on this new layer icon. We have blank layer. After that, click on the paint bucket tool and fill it with black color. Make sure that the color is black. It's really important. Then go to your filter, uh, render, and then select lens flare. In the lens flare, I'm gonna select the third one, uh, 105. Uh, keep it in center and then hit OK. Now I'm also gonna apply some blur on the lens flare. So go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. You can skip this step if you want, it depends on you. So I'm gonna go and hit OK. So it's really soft. After that, go to your uh, blend mode and then change it to screen. So the black part is gone, then select your move tool and then now you can move it around to the side, something like this. Now at the moment it's colorless, so let's make it colorful. For that, create new adjustment layer and then select hue saturation. Now again, I'm gonna turn on the clipping mask. So whatever changes we do will stay on the lens flare. So I'm gonna make it colorize and then I'm gonna increase the saturation to somewhere like 60-70%. So it's very noticeable. And then go to your hue and hue, keep it like 30-40. All you have to do is get really nice orangish color. So 41 looks all right and then close it. So model and background both are ready. Now I'm gonna do some color correction on entire photo. For that, go to your adjustment layers and then select selective colors. In the selective colors, first of all, make sure your neutrals are active. Now I'm gonna add in some red color. So for that, I'm gonna make it minus eight. Then I'm gonna go to my yellow and add a little bit of yellow. So four to five should be enough. Four looks good. After that, go to your blacks. In the black, I'm gonna just remove a little bit of black so we have, you know, that hazy look a little bit. Looks all right, then you can go and close it. So final effect is ready. Now all you have to do is add this little bit of things here and there. So first of all, I'm gonna make the lens flare a little bit bigger. Activate your layer one here, the lens flare, then press Command T, and then you can make it a little bit bigger and then adjust it so it's more impactful like this. Confirm it. Now I'm also gonna make the model bigger. So activate your group one, the model group, command T and make a little bit bigger. Some adjustment in selective colors. And that's it. This is the final output. I really hope that you guys learned something from this video. And if you did, hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions you can ask me in comment section below and if you want to check out more videos like this you can click on that subscribe button and visit my channel till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop